What's your recommendation on how to clean out the Twisby Vac Mini? Disassemble the whole pen, or is there an easier way to do it? So this, you know, specifically the Vac Mini, yes, I'll talk about that, but um, this really goes for pretty much any vacuum filling pen. Um, cleaning them is kind of a pain. I won't lie, there's not, unless you can disassemble the pen, there's really no faster way to do it. You can't use a bulb syringe, you can't really do anything else there. Um, if you have a removable nib unit on the pen, which some of them do, uh, you know, the Twisby Vac Mini is one where you can unscrew the nib unit, then you can, you know, kind of flush out and use an ink syringe maybe to help flush it out. You can flush it from the front a little bit. It really works best if you can flush through the pen. But basically, a lot of vacuum filling pens, like maybe some of the older Parkers um, and some of the, uh, like the Visconti Homo Sapiens, uh, you know, the really you're just doing this over and over and over again. And it's, you know, you, you get some ink that's kind of up in the top, and when you fill it this way, it's not like it gushes in and cleans the whole thing. It'll kind of fill up like this, and you have to kind of shake it out with water, and then pump it out, and then pump it back in, and then kind of shake a little bit, and it's really a pain. So with my vacuum filling pens, I don't I don't change the inks in them very often. Honestly, I don't, because it's just so much of a pain. And honestly, they have large ink capacities. They're really meant to be used if you're using an, one consistent ink in it anyway. So they don't necessarily design them to be like easily flushable and cleaned out and whatnot. Um, that said, the Twisby Vac Mini is really easy to clean out. Um, I actually did it earlier in this, in this uh, video, but I'll still go ahead and do it anyway. So it's got this piston that goes like this and you just unscrew it. Um, it's got a little Twisby wrench that comes in the back and there's these two flat parts on there. And you just, you know, you can see the thread pattern because it's a clear pen and you just unscrew it like this. You can either rotate the wrench around or you hold the wrench still and, and rotate the pen body. I find that to be easier. And you pull it out like that. That's super easy. And then what you can do is you can either take a bulb syringe, which I have right here, a bulb syringe and you can flush it just like you would a cartridge converter pen. Fill this thing up with water and flush it straight through. That is the easiest way. And then all you have to do is take and rinse this part over the sink, the faucet or whatever. And then you just put it back in. Or if you want to, you you know, and then if it's like really kind of the ink's kind of stink st sticking up in there, take a Q-tip and you can kind of swab it out and that makes it pretty easy. Or if you have a removable nib unit like on this Vac Mini, you can take and just flush this part with a bulb syringe. It takes a little bit of finagling to kind of get it in there, but you can flush just that part. And then here, if you take out the back, you got the whole barrel open, you can just flush water straight through it. And it's pretty, pretty straightforward. You just gotta make sure you put the barrel back in the same orientation. It'll be pretty easy because you won't be able to put it back in the wrong one, um, but just make sure that you don't confuse yourself too bad there. And then reassembling it is super easy. You can kind of get it started with your fingers and then get the wrench back you don't really need to worry too much about specific orientation or anything. It just it's only goes in one place, only threads in one way. Twisby made it pretty easy for you. So that's the Twisby Vac Mini, Vac 700. The larger one works exactly the same way. Pilot Custom 823 also, if you happen to have one of those. Fits Twisby wrench and it works exactly the same way. The Visconti Homo Sapiens, I've not figured out how to get the vacuum mechanism out of that one. So that, you just end up pumping and pumping and pumping. So I like never change the ink in that one, but there you have it.